Welcome in guys, I'm Slay, and today we're going to discuss the new airport DLC for City Skylines. I want to give you guys my first impressions, along with some helpful tips when you go about building your airport. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment if you have any additional thoughts about the DLC. Also, you can check us out live at twitch.tv slash Slay3K. So before the DLC came out, I was actually very interested in this. I had just started working on an airport in a current city I was building, which you're seeing now. I felt like I was having to dig so deep through the Steam Workshop to find different elements and pieces to mix match and to create a realistic looking airport. So hearing that this content was coming and having a lot of this stuff just built in to the DLC to the vanilla base game is super helpful. So my first impression when I started to dive into the assets related to airports specifically, I began to notice how many options there were in terms of just buildings pretty pretty significant you have several different size and scale buildings with different designs i think that's really cool that gives us some flexibility depending on the size of the city which i think is really important additionally the scale between the different buildings and everything seems consistent so you could mix and match some of these parts if you wanted to the first thing you're going to want to set up is a terminal this is kind of the entryway to your airport it's going to have your arrivals and departures there's variations of these being stacked which i think is really cool i'm familiar with going to these large airports that have like the stacked arrival and departure lanes probably one of the coolest things that comes in the variations that match up with what terminal you pick are the concourses i think these network items are really really neat to be able to place the way you want and develop really cool looking airports I think what's really neat too is they included a lot of different assets that you can have in or around your airport campus. So for example, you have the opportunity to add airport lounges, the fuel area for the airplanes. You can tie in public transport. You can add hangars so I could build like a maintenance area, the fencing, and then outside of your airport campus, you have the hotel, airport headquarters, museum, so on and so forth. It's really, really neat how that's set up. I also love that I can arrange my concourses with hubs and then create my own arrangement of how the planes are going to be parked at their stands. And then there's three different types of plane stands. Additionally, you can lay out your own taxiways and runway. They also offer assets for a cargo station, which you can tie into your airport. So overall, I, I like the amount of content they included with this to create your airport. It's very hyper-focused being the airport DLC. But it makes sense to me and how they did it. It reminds me of like industries when they revamped that whole area. And industries was not something I dove into right away very heavily, but over time I found ways to sort of bend it into how I play cities, which is more detailed focused, less focused on just management. But now I'm able to customize some of the items the way I want. So it really blends in well with the rest of the city that I'm trying to do in a detailed manner. I also like the fact that with the concourses working the way they do, it's very, very flexible in a sense of how I want to lay out the airport itself. I'm not limited just by structures that are simply plopped and then you're done. I can create and design the airport the way I want. So really, this is like the airport designer DLC. So instead of just having a bunch of ploppable assets you're placing down, you can really mix up and create something unique to you. I hope this is like a signal for the future of what we can get in DLCs where they have some network items that are buildings. I think that'd be like an interesting thing to see what they can do with that. Now you do need to be aware of how you're planning everything to make sure it all works properly, especially because the taxiways are one way and the runway is one way. So you need to just make sure that all of your paths are not conflicting in direction. So once you have down your main terminal and you expand your district area to cover the space that your airport's gonna cover, it becomes really fitting into a puzzle piece, which is something that I tend to enjoy. I like finding buildings and assets that fit into different size or scale areas. It's like when you have that space in your city, that blank part of the canvas, and you're just trying to figure out how to make something that looks right and proportional to what you're building, and you just have to accomplish it. It's like fitting puzzle pieces together. It's really, really awesome. So I think if you're looking for a solution to create realistic looking airports, maybe that's something you're interested in in general. I think this is gonna be a great DLC for you. I feel like, you know, Park Life is one of my favorite DLCs because it adds so much to the game that I can use in multiple places from the fences, benches, you know, whatever. They can go in all these different areas. So now I can shape my airports the way I want and I can create this feature as a part of my city that is distinct and specific to that city. I admit before going into it, I was a little bit skeptical. I didn't know what I was going to really get out of this DLC. I thought it was too limited in scope. And then after seeing it and playing with it a little bit, I can see how this is going to a reduce the need for Steam Workshop assets quite a bit to just vanilla assets. Additionally, it's going to create a framework for the airport that functionally works well. And finally, it's just super customizable. Now, what are some things that I would say need some work or more tinkering with? First of all, it's the plain AI. 
the planes just do some goofy things. And I noticed sometimes with your pathing or placing of taxiways, that can cause more disruptions in the plane traffic. Just watch your taxiways when you're placing them. Make sure it's not accidentally sort of adding extra nodes in between nodes that might cause a disruption in the pathing. What I noticed is that I would have planes just randomly taking off on the taxiway instead of the runway, which appeared to be just an issue with the pathing. I was able to redo the taxiway in that area and I fixed it. Now, the next thing was that I had a lot of planes waiting for the same stand. Instead of going to the next one, they were stacking up, causing traffic. That's kind of a bummer because all the planes are stacking up, waiting on one stand versus utilizing the three or four stands around them. Next up would just be when planes take off, the turning radius is quite crazy. This is an issue that is dated back for as long as I can remember. It's not specific to this DLC. I was hoping this was something that they might tinker with to just polish up the AI a little bit, like spacing between the planes when they're landing or taking off. I have a lot of planes that are getting stacked on the taxiway themselves because they don't know when to go or when to wait. Additionally, it's not super uncommon for like two planes to land right behind each other. Probably one of the most concerning things that I've found beyond the plane AI would be the issue that I'm seeing with performance. I don't know how much of this is mod related versus game related. I've heard of some folks having some stutter issues after they built their airport. I've also gone in and tried to build my own larger airport in the same city and ran into an issue where things were moving very, very slowly, including all the airplanes and vehicles on the map. Again, I'm hoping this is like a hotfix related thing or maybe a mod conflict that just needs to be worked out. In the same vein, I also would like to see some options to tailor how many planes are showing up. I'm seeing a lot of planes dealing with cargo at times, sometimes just an overpopulation of just airplanes. So now that you have my first impressions, let's talk about a few tips that I've learned thus far. It's going to be really important to utilize move it to adjust some of your taxiways and things like that. As you can imagine, that's really, really helpful. If you are having issues finding nodes, be sure to hit alt when clicking your left click while using move it that may allow you to click the node you're looking for. If you're wanting runways to intersect in some way, you can use road anarchy to make that appear overlapped. The reason I say appear is because it's not a functional overlap. Planes will not pause for the other plane crossing. So they could intersect. It looks good, but it doesn't function the way that a normal airport would. You have to keep in mind those planes might hit each other on the runway. Additionally, you might have some odd cosmetic visuals when overlapping the runways. It could cause them to look a little bit funky. Sometimes you can adjust the height of one of the nodes and that'll fix it. But just keep in mind, it's not a perfect system. It does give the cool appearance though. That goes the same for taxiways, which can overlap a runway, but may not look as good as you want it to. Now, when you're placing your aircraft stands and tying them into your taxiways, try to ensure that your taxiways run perpendicular to where the node intersects on the aircraft stand. This is because what I noticed sometimes was the AI was having the plane back all the way up down a taxiway, all the way until it got to another taxiway that intersected and then the plane would turn around and drive forward. Another tip is something I found when I was trying to connect multiple terminals together. I noticed that using a road just out of your normal set of roads wasn't connecting the same way that the road should have had it been just the airport road. Well, keep in mind that you have that asset available to you so you can use it as a network item to connect your upper deck roads. So if you have that two story building and you need to connect the road so the path continues, that way you can have multiple terminals on the same path, you can do that. A couple things not to forget. Utilizing the district for airports will flatten and remove trees from wherever you use the brush. You can add the trees back in after you've already subtracted them using the district tool. Utilizing certain hubs and terminals, they also have metro stations underneath ground. You can utilize that to cut down on your traffic. If you're using the better planes assets from the Steam Workshop, make sure that you update to the new assets that are for the airport DLC. That way the stands will utilize the correct plane for their size. You also need to ensure that your taxiways are far enough apart that your wingspans don't overlap the other taxiway or planes. And it's probably best not to overcomplicate taxiways in general. The more options I gave them, the more traffic that built up. And last, but certainly not least, probably the first thing you really need to consider is making sure you have enough space for your airport. Once you start factoring in taxiways, runways, and all the things that go into this, maybe you wanna add a cargo station, or you just wanna have an area for repair and maintenance where you have hangars and whatnot, this can take up a lot of space. I had an area marked off for this and it seemed to just continue to grow. I actually took away some area of mountains and had to redo some roads in order to accommodate the size of the airport that I wanted. Obviously this should be scaled to your city. Mine is a little bit larger than it probably should be, but I wanted to build something that was really cool and interesting and big. All in all, I would really recommend this DLC. I've enjoyed it. It's been fun to play with. It's been something different. I know from the city's community, we've been eager to get another DLC or some added content added to the base game. And I think this is really cool because it takes 
some of the need for the steam workshop assets out and adds it into the vanilla base game basically so i think that's really cool additionally it's a cool little puzzle piece to put together in your cities and it adds a cool customization to what your city looks like especially from the sky if you'd like to see more on the dlc you can always check us out at twitch.tv slash slay3k and i'll catch you guys next time